In this video, we're going to learn about negative words. In English, as in some other languages, you can answer a question like, did you go? With what is called an echo response, such as, yes, I went, or no, I didn't go. In these responses, the answer echoes the question back to the asker. In Klalem, awa means no. Unlike English, Klalem does not use echo responses. To answer questions such as, awa ut, did you go? You just answer, awa, no, if you didn't. Or you can answer, I didn't go, without the no. If the answer is no, you can also tell the asker what you did instead and respond with something like, no, I stayed home. But you never say, no, I didn't go. And here's our models. Is he not our crime at all? Our stand of our eat There are there are several words for yes. It could be ah, mm, or hmm. You also don't use an echo if answer if the answer is yes. So if someone asks you hia ut and you want to say yes, you just say ah, mm, or hmm. Note that there are two pronunciations. Ao is often used as no by itself. Awa is used as not or no when it's followed by a subject or other words. Awa is stressed and so has an accent mark. There are two pronunciations. Ao is often used as no by itself. Awa is used as not or no when it is followed by a subject or other words. Also, Awa is often pronounced Awa in fluent speech. Remember that Awa is stressed and so it has an accent mark. These no vocabulary words we'll go over. Eat, Eichlin, Eichlin, Salmon, Stanu, Stanu, and bread, Saplin, Saplin. Now let's listen to our Quinawi. 9.1. Now we'll go over not with a it, he, or she prefix. In Klalem, as in many languages around the world, the word for not is the same as the word for no. This appears in phrases where English would use words like don't, won't, isn't, and so on. We say that this not negates the statement or idea. For example, in he is going and he is not going, the not negates the idea that he's going. In it is a canoe and it is not a canoe, the not negates the idea that it is a canoe. In such phrases, Klalem uses a combination of awa at the beginning of the sentence with a special little word. That comes before the main verb of the negated of the statement. We will call this little word the negative C. Usually a sentence beginning with awa will also have a negative C. There are some cases in which awa and the negative C do not go together. And these cases in which the meaning involves the time expression never. Here's our model. He, she, it goes. Yeah. And he, she, it does not go. Out here. Yeah. Do you want to say that too, Emma? Out. Out here. Yeah. And he, she, it takes it. Quit. 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 And then he doesn't take it. Out. Quit. Out. Quit. Okay, if it's a canoe. Snow. Snow. And it's not a canoe. Out, snow, out, snow. Okay, it's good. I, I. And it's not good. Out, I, out, I. 
The pronouns he, she, and it are known as third person pronouns. In stories, the third person pronouns and sentences with third person subjects occur more frequently than sentences with I, you, we, or commands. So in this section, this covers the third person negative form separately. The negative C comes between the awa and the main verb of the negated idea. Also, the S subject suffix of the transitive word quetz stays with the word in the negative. When the main negated verb is intransitive, the sentence actually has two meanings. Depending on how it is used, it can be a negative statement or a weak negative command. So for example, awets hiats can mean he, she, it doesn't go, or it can mean don't go. Usually you translate ah as yes. However, in answering a negative question, ah is translated into English as no. For example, in English, a negative question like didn't he go would be answered yes if he did go and no if he didn't go. In Klalem, it is just the reverse. Awa ut hiya. Didn't he go? Is answered awa. No, it's not true that he didn't go. If he did go, ah is used because it's implied that it's true, he didn't go. Klalem is in this respect, like many languages of the world, it is English that is odd. The negative C is sometimes pronounced t with a T. Off to our Kunawi. For next lesson, not with I, we, you, past, future, questions, and commands. Here's our model sentences. Uh, we go. Yes. Yes. And we do not go. Out. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Um, you take it. What? What? You do not take it. Out. What? Out. What? Out. Quite. Okay, I am I'm the boss. Seamton. Seamton. I'm not boss. Out and Siam. Out and Siam. You folks are fast. Huang Tai. Huang Tai. You folks are not fast. Out Tai Huang. Out Tai Huang. Notice that the subject meaning I, we, or you comes directly after awa, while the negated word comes at the end with the negative C in front of it. The word awa is really a verb meaning to be not. It is possible to say awatsin, meaning I am not or it's not me. If you look at all the uh, examples, and guess where the past marker ya and the future marker tsa would go. If you guessed in their usual place next to the subject, then you're right. Study these negative past and future tense forms. Okay, awa ya tsa We didn't go. Awa tsa tsa We will not take it. Awa tsan siam. I will not be boss. Awa ya tsai hong. You folks are not fast. To make a negative command, simply put the chi after the awa, as with any other verb. Awa chi tsia. Don't go. Our cheats quats us eatlin. Don't take the food. Our cheats see um. Don't be the boss. To make a negative yes or no question, simply put the you after the awa as with any other verb. Awa uyats tsia. Didn't we go? Awa u tsat quat. Will you not take it? 
Awa ud sans siam. Won I be boss? Awa uyat hides home. Weren't you folks fast? An object subject ending. Stay with the negative word. Here are some examples. Awa yat stats. You didn't hit me. Awa tsins kwanunga. I didn't see you. Awa uyat mist. Didn't you choose me? And let's listen to our Kwanawi. He had done to go to here. And that's it. I was done here. That's it for our negative words.